Hey guys, it's Brandon here, and I just wanted to make an update video on the Sora Performance Intake Manifold. Um, I've had this on the car for about a year now, and the um, and I have driven it around. I've had a couple different setups with the throttle body and with the thermostat housing, um, which I plan on changing again. Um, I use the stock fuel rail and electronics for the fuel injectors as well as the Bosch 42 pound injectors, which I just had a video release on how to install. Um, the fitment for the manifold is no problem. Um, in my head rebuild video, I showed that you do need the long stud down there, which is true. Um, all of the mounting points for the fuel rail are stock, uh, which mimic the stock intake manifold. Um, so everything mounts up just fine. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about are the four vacuum ports. Um, Victor at Sora Performance can put as many vacuum ports as you want in. Uh, mine has four. Um, this black line here goes to my blow-off valve. The blue line is for the fuel pressure regulator. The uh, clear is for a in boost gauge that's in the car. And then the black is for my Mega Squirt ECU. I also want to mention that this intake manifold did come with a port down here, which is um, plugged. You have to drill it out if you want to use it, but that is for the stock um, idle air control valve would plug into there. Um, I'm not running any idle air control valve, um, and I plan on having a video on my tune uh, one day to show how I have all of that set up and I'm able to run without one. So that. Um, this tube here is plugged. You'd have to drill that out if you wanted to use it. And then under there where the uh, bitch tube is, the fitment for that was just fine as well. Um, I, didn't, I don't have any leaks or issues there. The next thing I wanna talk about is there's a little port here for the factory brake booster. Um, that one is pre-drilled out and I did have to buy a little bung on Amazon, um, little rubber bung there and a hose clamp too clamp that off and I've had no issues with that. Um, I don't think it'll burst or anything with the boost pressure, um, but if it does, it, this intake manifold is aluminum. Um, so I could just weld that up. But the reason I'm not running that is because I have a um, Chase Bay's brake booster there. This booster here doesn't require a vacuum that that bung would provide. So the next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be the thermostat housing. Um, Putting the thermostat housing on while the intake manifold on is extremely tricky. Um, I did have to do it because if you remember in my head rebuild video, I originally had the Leo Grande thermostat housing delete on there. And I still plan on running that and making a standalone video about that and installing it. Um, however, I just didn't have all the parts at the time for everything to work out. So I had to put the stock thermostat back on just to get the car running last year so I could drive it around and do some testing. Um, so putting it on while the intake manifold is on is extremely tricky, but is possible. Um, you're going to need uh, very small 10 millimeter sockets and a lot of um, bendy uh, sockets as well. I do want to talk about as well the, um, the Leo Grande thermostat housing delete I had on there. Originally, I was running both of these two um, sensors. One goes to the ECU to show how uh, hot the coolant is, and the other one goes to your gauge cluster. Um, I'm not sure which does which, I'd have to double check, um, but I was running both in that setup, and the Leo Grande sensor, and I'll put a photo on screen now, presses right up against the intake manifold um, when you have that sensor in there, and it's extremely tight, and I actually had to cut it and do a different connection to it. Um, now though, I'm gonna be running a electric water pump and that has its own sensor that I won't be needing to run on the uh, the gauge cluster. So I'll probably be removing one of those and plugging the hole so it shouldn't be an issue going forward. So the last thing I want to talk about is the throttle body um, and the throttle position sensor as well as the throttle cable and routing. Um, so this intake manifold was pre-built already um, that Victor at Sora Performance had. Uh, he said it had an S90 throttle flange on it, and but he would cut it off and put whatever one I wanted on. 
Um, I highly recommend having a throttle picked out already uh, with a way to run the cable as I had an S90 throttle body um, laying around and it was awful. Um, it was a knockoff, so it wasn't the, uh, one of the actual S90 ones, um, but it was very tight, didn't work that well, and I had a really hard time running the cable. Um, in some of the photos I've put in other videos, you can see I actually had the throttle wire and uh, circle here on the bottom, so this was upside down um, with the throttle position sensor on the top, and that was a whole nightmare to get the, um, the throttle to feel good. With this setup here, it's much, much better, and I'll go over what I'm doing here. But originally, um, the manifold comes tapped here with two um, little screw ports, and I had a piece coming and running down here to mount the uh, throttle cable up, and it just wasn't working well. So this throttle flange that I had on here was a 70 millimeter S90 throttle body um, flange which means the holes for the actual throttle aren't uh, symmetrical. Um, they're longer than they are wider, if that makes sense. Um, so that was mistake number one. I should have asked him to cut it off and put a different throttle body flange on there, but it's all right. I got rid of that S90 throttle body that was 70 millimeter. Um, I got this universal one on Amazon that's 65 millimeter. I was able to drill out the mounting holes and then still uh, just use a washer to mount the throttle body up. It's very nice and secure now using the stock S90 mounting holes and I was still able to run a gasket in between them as well. The benefit to having the Amazon throttle body is that the S90 throttle bodies are for Mitsubishi Evo 3s and they have um, a piece on the end that would run a idle control valve and I'm not running an idle control valve in this car so I had to make my own adapter plate to cover up those holes because they lead right into the throttle body um, so that wasn't really an issue but the problem was is the adapter plate could only be on this side because this side presses too far up against the manifold itself so I wouldn't get a clean mounting and I didn't really want to cut and grind away all the powder coated finish that's on this so that um, kind of locked me into having the throttle on the bottom because of how that my, um, throttle body was set up. So doing it this way is much better. Having the throttle cable on the top allows me to utilize this throttle mount here, which I made with these little rib nuts. Um, and I, can, I just drilled right through, put uh, two screws into the manifold there that, are, that come with it, and then rib nutted in the uh, mounting for the throttle up here. Um, this is a go-kart throttle. <laughs> uh, it was a 10 footer I was able to get on Amazon and then just cut it. And it comes um, pre-made with one of the little uh, round barrels here. So you don't have to screw one on, which is what I was looking for for that. So it would mitigate risk. Um, so far, everything's been fine. Um, I have adjustability, not up here, but inside the car, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so feel free to copy this design if you guys have any of that, or if you have something better, I'd love to hear it because um, this throttle feels really nice, but I'd like to make it feel just as good as factory because right now it's just a hair under. As for the TPS sensor, um, the Amazon throttle came with a bung that fit perfectly on this M50 um, sensor here which I was able to get a replica on eBay for only like eight bucks. Um, it served me perfectly so far. I've had no issues. It's super responsive. Um, you can see it in the Mega Squirt software. It immediately picks up on all of the, the throttle angles. Um, so I made a little adapter plate with the rib nuts again for this to sit on because it's a little short of the circle um, that comes on the throttle itself. So I have a little adapter plate there to mount it up, but it, the uh, actual flange that goes into the TPS sensor um, is perfect. It's a perfect fit for the M50 um, sensor here. And then to wire up this sensor, um, 
in the mega squirt manual there um you just clip some wires from the original sensor and um run them into this and i'll go over that in a video about mega squirt and how to set all that up um but this is pretty much just a plug and play item so i'd like to finish off um talking about the throttle again so the cable from here is mounted up and then is really taut through here um Here's where it mounts to with my angle bracket here right to the manifold um, then i have it running down through here into the stock uh, location where the stock throttle comes through and then if you go inside the car i made a little um adapter there that goes on the throttle that the uh, throttle cable will run through It'll go into one of those little screw on barrels and then the throttle cable comes through there and I just loop it back around. That way I have adjustability, but also um, it's very taut. And you can see it's very snappy and nice. Um, so again, if you guys have any uh, suggestions on how to do it better, I'd love to hear them. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I also wanted to mention that once you go to an aftermarket throttle, um, you're going to need to put a longer screw in for the stop for the throttle. Um, the stock one, mine was all rusted, but if yours isn't and you can not adjust it, I'm not sure it'll go all the way and you might end up snapping your cable because there's a lot of travel on the stock BMW throttle. All right, guys. So that'll do it for this review of the Sora Performance Intake Manifold. Um, if you have any questions or want me to go over anything else in depth about this manifold, I'd be happy to do so. Uh, please leave it in the comments below. And other than that, thank you for watching.